The Department of Posts DOP, trading as India Post, is a government-operated postal system in India under the Department of Posts, which is part of the Ministry of Communications of the Government of India. Generally called, the Post Office. In India, it is the most widely distributed postal system in the world. It is involved in delivering mails, remitting money by money orders, accepting deposits under small savings schemes, providing life insurance cover under Postal Life Insurance and Rural Postal Life Insurance and providing retail services like bill collection, sale of forms, etc. The DOP also acts as an agent for Government of India in discharging other services for citizens such as Old Age Pension Payments and Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme wage disbursement. With 155,015 post offices, India Post has the most widely distributed postal network in the world. The country has been divided into 23 postal circles, each circle headed by a Chief Postmaster General. Each circle is divided into regions, headed by a postmaster general and comprising field units known as divisions. These divisions are further divided into subdivisions. In addition to the 23 circles, there is a base circle to provide postal services to the armed forces of India headed by a director general. One of the highest post offices in the world is in Hickam, Himachal Pradesh operated by India Post at a height of 15,500 feet 4, meters. History Posts and the British Raj The British Raj was instituted in 1858, when the rule of the East India Company was transferred to the Crown. By 1861, there were 889 post offices handling nearly 43 million letters and over 4.5 million newspapers annually. The first superintendent of the post office was appointed in 1870 and based in Allahabad and in 1876, British India became the first non-founding member of the General Postal Union. A number of acts were enacted during the British Raj to expand and regulate posts and telegraph service. The Government Savings Bank Act 1873, 5 of 1873, passed by the legislature the 28th of January 1873, was enacted in 1881. On 1 April 1882, post office savings banks opened throughout India except in the Bombay Presidency. In Madras Presidency, it was limited, in the Bengal Presidency, no POSBs were established in Calcutta or Howrah. Postal life insurance began on 1 February 1884 as a welfare measure for the employees of the Posts and Telegraphs Department as Government of India Dispatch No. 299 dated 18 October 1882 to the Secretary of State. Telegraph Act, 1885 Indian Telegraph Act The Indian Post Office Act 1898 6 of 1898, passed by the legislature on of March 1898, became effective on 1 July 1898 regulating postal service. It was preceded by Act 3 of 1882 and Act 16 of 1896. The Indian Wireless Telegraphy Act 1933, 17 of 1933, the world's first official airmail flight took place in India on the 18th of February 1911, a journey of 18 kilometers, 11 miles, lasting 27 minutes. Henri Paquet, a French pilot, carried about 15 kilograms, 33 pounds of mail, approximately 6000 letters and cards across the Ganges from Allahabad to Naini. Included in the airmail was a letter to King George V of the United Kingdom. India Post inaugurated a floating post office in August 2011 at Dal Lake in Srinagar, Kashmir. Telegraphy and telephony made their appearance as part of the postal service before becoming separate departments. The Posts and Telegraphs Departments merged in 1914, dividing again on 1 January 1985. <laughs> After independence in 1947 Since India became independent in 1947, the Postal Service continues to function on a nationwide basis, providing a variety of services. The structure of the organization has the directorate at its apex, below it are circle offices, regional offices, the superintendent's offices, head post offices, sub post offices and branch offices. In April 1959, the Indian Postal Department adopted the motto, Service Before Help, 
It revised its logo in September 2008. The number of post offices was 23,344 when India became independent in 1947, and these were primarily in urban areas. The number increased to 155,015 in 2016, and 90% of these were in rural areas. Postage stamp history First adhesive stamps in Asia The first adhesive postage stamps in Asia were issued in the Indian district of Sindha in July 1852 by Bartle Frere, chief commissioner of the region. Frere was an admirer of Roland Hill, the English postal reformer who had introduced the penny post. The Sinda stamps became known as Sinda Docks. Dock is the anglicized spelling of the Hindustani word dock or post. These stamps, with a value of one half anna, were in use until June 1866. The first All India stamps were issued on 1 October 1854. Topic. Stamps issued by the East India Company The volume of mail moved by the postal system increased significantly, doubling between 1854 and 1866 and doubling again by 1871. The Post Office Act 14 introduced reforms by 1 May 1866 to correct some of the more obvious postal system deficiencies and abuses. Postal service efficiencies were also introduced. In 1863, lower rates were set for steamer mail to Europe at 6 annas, 8 pies for a one half ounce letter. Lower rates were also introduced for inland mail. New regulations removed special postal privileges enjoyed by officials of the East India Company. Stamps for official use were prepared and carefully accounted for, to combat abuses by officials. In 1854 Spain had printed special stamps for official communications, but in 1866 India was the first country to adopt the expedient of overprinting service on postage stamps and service postage on revenue stamps. This innovation was later widely adopted by other countries. Shortages developed, so stamps also had to be improvised. Some service postage Overprinted rarities resulted from abrupt changes in postal regulations. New designs for the 4 Anna and 6 Anna 8 Pi stamps were issued in 1866. Nevertheless, there was a shortage of stamps to meet the new rates. Provisional 6 Anna stamps were improvised by cutting the top and bottom from a current foreign bill revenue stamp and overprinting. Postage. India was the first country in the Commonwealth to issue airmail stamps. Topic. Post independence stamps India attained independence on 15 August 1947. Thereafter, the Indian Posts and Telegraph Department embarked on a broad based policy for the issuance of stamps. The first new stamp was issued by Independent India on 21 November 1947. It depicts the Indian flag with the Patriots slogan, Jai Hind, Long Live India. At the top right hand corner. The stamp was valued at three and one half annas. A memorial to Mahatma Gandhi was issued 15 August 1948 on the first anniversary of independence. One year later, a definitive series appeared, depicting India's broad cultural heritage primarily Hindu, Buddhist, Muslim, Sikh, and Jain temples, sculptures, monuments, and fortresses. A subsequent issue commemorated the beginning of the Republic of India on 26 January 1950. Definitives included a technology and development theme in 1955, a series depicting a map of India in 1957 denominated in Naya Paisa — decimal currency and a 1965 series with a wide variety of images. The old inscription, India Postage, was replaced in 1962 with Bharata India. Although three stamps issued from December 1962 to January 1963 carried the earlier inscription, India has printed stamps and postal stationery for other countries, mostly neighbours. Countries which have had stamps printed in India include Burma before independence, Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan, Portugal and Ethiopia. The country has issued definitive and commemorative stamps. 
Six definitive series on India's heritage and progress in a number of fields have been issued. The seventh series, with a theme of science and technology, began in 1986. Between independence and 1983, 770 stamps were issued. Revenue The following table shows income generated by the Postal Department. PIN codes The Postal Index Number PIN, or PIN code, is a six-digit code of post office numbering introduced on 15 August 1972. There are nine PIN regions in the country, the first eight are geographical regions, and the ninth is reserved for the Army Postal Service The India Post's PIN code system is organized in the following way. The first digit indicates the region. The first two digits indicate the sub-region or postal circle. The first three digits indicate a sorting district. The last three digits indicate the delivery post office. The PIN for an address may be found on the Postal Service website. There are total of 19,101 PIN codes covering 154,725 post offices in India, with the exception of the Army Postal Service as of 2014. Topic Project Arrow Project Arrow was launched in April 2008. The project plans to upgrade post offices in urban and rural areas, improving service and appearance into a vibrant and responsive organization and to make a visible and positive difference. The project aims to create an effective, friendly environment for staff and customers, providing secure IT services and improving mail delivery, remittances electronic and, manual, and postal savings plans. Core areas for improvement are branding, information technology, human resources and infrastructure. The project to improve service has been implemented in more than 23,500 post offices, and look and feel improvements have been made in 2,940 post offices. The Department of Posts received the Prime Minister's Award for Excellence in Public Administration during 2008-09 for Project Arrow, Transforming India Post. On 21 April 2010, multipurpose counter machines with computers were introduced in post offices in 1991 to improve customer service and increase staff productivity. 25,000 departmental post offices out of 25,464 were computerized between as of 2011-2012. In 2012, a plan costing 1,877.2 crore rupees $260 million was formulated to computerize rural post offices. A 4,909 crore rupees $680 million project for computerization and networking of 1.55 lakh post offices across the country is being currently implemented by the government. Telecom Minister Ravi Shankar Prasad said the project involves a central server-enabled integrated, modular and scalable solution for all operations of the Department of Posts including core banking and insurance solutions in all departmental post offices. <laughs> <laughs> Services Philately The first philatelic society in India was founded in Calcutta on 6 March 1897 to service postage stamp collections. Function include design, printing and distribution of special or commemorative postage stamps, definitive postage stamps and items of postal stationery, promotion of philately, conduct of philatelic examinations at the national level, participation in international exhibitions and monitoring exhibitions at the state, regional and district levels and maintenance of the National Philatelic Museum. Philatelic bureaus were established in head post offices located at circle headquarters and at district capital head post offices as necessary. There are 68 philately bureaus and 1111 philatelic counters, including all head post offices in the country as of 31 March 2011. A domestic philatelic deposit account system was introduced on 1 August 1965 at all philatelic bureaus. Customers are given priority in purchasing commemorative or special issue stamps, first day covers and information sheets soon after their issue by opening a deposit account at any philatelic bureau. 
The number of philately deposit account holders grew from 23,905 in 1999 2000 to 168,282 in 2006 2007 and 183,202 in 2008 2009. Four philatelic bureaus the Bombay, Madras, Calcutta, and Parliament Street, New Delhi GPOs are authorized to sell United Nations stamps. A quarterly philatelic magazine, Philipost, was launched in 2008. The Department of Post has also developed software for philatelic inventory management, known as PhilSim. It is used for all activities relating to philately, including forecasting, indenting, invoicing, monitoring supply and demand and recording sales and revenue for commemorative stamps and other philatelic products at philately bureaus and counters and definitive stamps and stationery at circle stamp depots and head post offices. The National Philatelic Museum of India was inaugurated on 6 July 1968 in New Delhi. It had its beginnings at a meeting of the Philatelic Advisory Committee on 18 September 1962. Besides a large collection of India postage stamps designed, printed and issued, it has a large collection of Indian states confederate and feudatory, early essays, proofs and colour trials, a collection of Indian stamps used abroad, early Indian postcards, postal stationery and thematic collections. The museum was renovated in 2009 with more exhibits, a philatelic bureau and postal objects such as Victorian post boxes. The Department of Posts inaugurated the National Philatelic Museum on the 11th of July 2011. It exhibits rare postage stamps from around the world and provides a venue for philatelists to exhibit their collections. Topic: Army Postal Service The Army Postal Service APS, functions as a government-operated military mail system in India. A primary feature of Army Postal Service systems is that normally they are subsidized to ensure that military mail posted between duty stations abroad and the home country or vice versa does not cost the sender any more than normal domestic mail traffic. In some cases, Indian military personnel in a combat zone may post letters and or packages to the home country for free, while in others, senders located in a specific overseas area may send military mail to another military recipient, also located in the same overseas area, without charge. Electronic Indian Postal Order The Electronic Indian Postal Order EIPO was introduced on the 22nd of March 2013, initially only for citizens living abroad. The postal orders can be used for online payment of fees for access to information under the RTI Act of 2005. The service was expanded to include all Indian citizens on the 14th of February 2014. Topic Postal Life Insurance Postal Life Insurance PLI was introduced on 1 February 1884 with the express approval of the Secretary of State for India to Her Majesty, the Queen Empress of India. It was essentially a welfare scheme for the benefit of postal employees in 1884 and later extended to the employees of Telegraph Department in 1888. In 1894, PLI extended insurance cover to female employees of P&T department at a time when no other insurance company covered female lives. It is the oldest life insurer in this country. There was over 6.4 million policies active as on 31 March 2015 with a sum assured of 130,745 crore rupees $18 billion. Premium income of PLI for the year 2014-15 was 6053.2 crore rupees, 840 million dollars. It covers employees of central and state governments, central and state public sector undertakings, universities, government-aided educational institutions, nationalized banks, local bodies, autonomous bodies, joint ventures having a minimum of 10% GOVT, PSU stake, credit cooperative societies etc. and staff of the defense services and paramilitary forces. Apart from single insurance policies, Postal Life Insurance also manages a group insurance scheme for the extra departmental employees of the Department of Posts. It was extended to all rural residents on 24 March 1995. 
Policies for government employees include Santhosh endowment assurance, Suriksha whole life assurance, Savita convertible whole life assurance, Sumangal anticipated endowment policy and Yugal Suriksha joint life endowment assurance. India Post started Rural Postal Life Insurance RPLI for rural public in 1995. RPLI include Gram Santosh endowment assurance, Gram Suriksha whole life assurance, Gram Savita convertible whole life assurance, Gram Sumangal anticipated endowment assurance and Gram Priya. Topic: <laughs> Postal savings. The post office offers a number of savings plans, including Recurring Deposit Account, Sukanya Samriti Account SSA, National Savings Certificates NSC, Kizan Vikas Patra KVP, The Public Provident Fund, Savings Bank Accounts, Monthly Income Plans, Senior Citizens Savings Plans and Time Deposit Accounts. As on 31 March 2015, Post Office Savings Bank had a customer base of 330.3 million. Its vast network has been used to disburse payments under National Rural Employment Guarantee Act MGNREGA. Topic: <laughs> Banking. In 2013 it was revealed that the Indian Postal Service had formulated plans to enter the banking industry after RBI guidelines for the issuance of new banking licenses were released. Eventually they are planning to open a Post Bank of India, an independent banking service. In August 2015, the Reserve Bank of India had granted in principle approval to 11 applicants to set up payments banks, including India Post. As of 29 February 2016, 18,231 post offices are utilizing core banking solutions in 9,583 post offices. ATMs are installed at 576 post office locations and debit cards issued to post office savings bank customers. Core Insurance Solution for Postal Life Insurance is rolled out in 808 head post offices and corresponding 24,000 plus sub post offices. In September 2017, it was announced that by 2018 all of the 1.55 lakh post offices and every postman and Grameen Doc Sevak will be equipped with a device which will provide full range of payment options that the India Post Payments Bank plans to provide. On 31 August 2018 the India Post Payments Bank was inaugurated by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The Postal Department is focused on riding the e-commerce boom across the country from creating dedicated corridors for delivery to training postmen to handle big volumes. There is a concerted effort to become more connected digitally. <laughs> <laughs> Data collection A collaboration between the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation and the Department of Posts has enabled the computation of consumer price indices for rural areas. These statistics were previously unobtainable, due to problems of remoteness and scale. The agreement authorizes the Postal Service to collect data on prices paid for selected consumer goods. In February 2011, MOSPI published its first Consumer Price Index CPI and All India Consumer Price Index. The information has since been published monthly, based on data available from 1,181 villages across the country. E-commerce <laughs> e delivery The boom in e-commerce and the surging number of cash on delivery consignments has led India Post to partner with major e-commerce portals for delivering prepaid as well as cash on delivery COD parcels. The deliveries are primarily directed at Tier 2 towns, and parts of the rural heartland, where India Post has unparalleled reach. It has also set up 57 delivery centres to handle the e-commerce traffic. The Postal Department's revenues by ways of COD consignments from e-commerce majors have more than doubled in the first nine months of fiscal year 2015-16 at 10 billion rupees $140 million, up from 5 billion rupees $70 million during the whole of 2014-15, and just 1 billion rupees $14 million in 2013-14. According to the Minister for Communications and Information Technology, Ravi Shankar Prasad, revenue of India Post from such deliveries would go up to 15 billion rupees $210 million in the year 
Topic: Other services. Other services include post boxes and post bags for mail receipt, identity cards for proof of residence, ATM, RMS, railway mail service.